significant left main coronary artery stenosis was conventionally an indication for coronary artery bypass grafting. Here, the left main coronary artery stenosis is evident just proximal to the bifurcation. Significant stenosis is seen in the left anterior descending and left circumflex coronary arteries. Coronary bypass grafts to both these vessels are required. Left main coronary artery, osteal and mid shaft stenosis are amenable to angioplasty and stenting. While distal left main lesions may be managed by coronary bypass grafting. Left main bifurcation angioplasty is also another option with the availability of better hardware, though chances of restenosis are higher. Distal lesions are usually associated with osteal lesions of left anterior descending and left circumflex coronary arteries. ECG in a person with persistent anginal pain for the past several hours showing significant ST segment depression in androlateral leads along with sinus tachycardia. ST segment elevation is noted in AVR. Such a pattern is consistent with significant left main coronary artery stenosis. Clinical evaluation and chest X-ray showed features of pulmonary edema. Angiography done after initial stabilization showed severe stenosis of distal left main coronary artery. In addition, there were multiple lesions in all three vessels making a standard indication for an urgent coronary artery bypass grafting. A similar ECG pattern can also occur in severe proximal triple vessel disease. The previous ECG is shown here for comparison which shows minimal changes. There is minimal ST segment elevation in AVR as well. This highlights the need for serial ECGs in acute coronary syndrome as initial ECGs may be near normal even in those with severe disease. Classical electrocardiographic pattern in left main coronary artery disease is ST elevation in AVR with extensive ST depression in other leads most prominent in lead 1, 2 and V4 to V6. ST elevation may be noted in V1 but ST elevation in AVR is more than or equal to that in V1. ST elevation in AVR greater than or equal to that in V1 distinguished left main stenosis from left anterior descending coronary artery stenosis with 81% sensitivity and 80% specificity. ST segment elevation in AVR in proximal left anterior descending artery occlusion before first septal is thought to be due to transmural ischemia of the basal part of the septum. Injury current of basal